Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to teach you something today that maybe you didn't know. Okay guys, so welding rod numbers, what do they mean? The 7018 rod that you commonly use, the 70, is going to stand for your tensile strength. So that tensile strength, obviously 70, stands for 70,000 pounds per square inch is what that welding rod is rated for. Now, you move over to the 1. That's going to give you its qualified welding positions. Number 1 can be used in the flat, it can be used for vertical, it can be used in the overhead position, and it can be used in horizontal. Now, you've got your positions, you've got your tensile strength, let's move over to the number 8. The last number on this welding rod is going to be the type of coating that is on this rod. The 7018 with the 8 at the end is a low hydrogen, potassium, and iron powder flux. So that is what the coating, or the flux, is on this. And that is that little iron coating is going to be what makes up the slag that you're going to knock off the end of your weld when you're finished. So guys, here's another example for you. This is going to be a 7024 rod. Obviously, our tensile strength is the same because it is a 70. That 70 is going to indicate the 70,000 pounds tensile strength. The number two, your third number for your positions, your welding positions, it is only going to be good for a flat weld and a horizontal fillet weld. Now you're not going to be welding vertical and you're not going to be welding overhead with a rod that has a 2 for the third number. Now the fourth number on this one is going to be a 4 and that's 7024 and that's the type of coating it's going to have. It has iron powder and it has titania in it. Titanium, titania is basically titanium dioxide. So I hope that helps you guys out just a little bit. Kind of gives you a little bit of inside knowledge on what those numbers are and what they stand for in your welding rod. Maybe it can help you in a project at home, something that you're going to be doing in the future. Anyway, thanks for checking this out. Hope you learned something today.